flat spin. He might have wanted the double there, but he held it to one. Oh, baby! Guys, it's not finished. <laughs> Definitely. We can see there she's enjoying some of that fresh new snow, carving into the first jump. Nice 360 from Lou. That is a great way to start it off. Clean rotation, stomping it nice and high. Coming into the next jump, another 360 and another stomp. All right, you can two see jumps. Can the snow flying? It's perfect. Two jumps, two tricks. The snow looks great. There's that flat spin. Oh, just getting a little bit backseat on the landing. Looked like she landed in the bomb hole from the forerunner. Yeah. It's what you said. It's the snow is so smooth at the landing, so. Mm -hmm. Here Let's you can see sort of water. a unique feature at the bottom. There's two different takeoffs. I heard this referred to as the guac bowl takeoff here. Catching a little air at the bottom, and our first competitor is through the finish gate. We're three times in a row. That is an incredible feat. Now she's here at the Backcountry Invitational for the first time, dropping into the face. Let's see what she's got for us. Cruising in to the first jump with a nice 360, stomping it, laying a big slash on the ridge as she charges down. Nice little cliff line with the backflip, stomping the backflip. Go, Ari! As she cruises on down into the lower section, so many years of experience in skiing powder snow like this. Another 360, third trick for Ariana. She She's fun. feeling good. <laughs> the rail? Mm -hmm. Taking a look at the rail, just gonna cruise by it. And the final hit at the bottom, taking a little side angle there into the wind lip. Amazing run from Ariana nice. Tricomi. Wow. I think she's so stoked about the condition. When the third competitor already? is already on Jenica? course coming in. This is Jenica Folkeson from Sweden, popping a nice little straight air, adding a little air over the knuckle there. Cruising some powder, coming into the next jump. She's setting the 360, a little back seat. Uh, we're back in hot tub territory. That's okay, snow's soft, lean back, enjoy the ride. She's going to want to get back up and get redemption on that 360 for sure. And she's cruising again into this jump. I think most competitors are going to be hitting this one. So we'll probably be have a pretty good bomb hold there. Cruising down, checking out the rail. I guess they can use the side of the rail there as a yeah, little also jump too <laughs> if they want. As she pops the last little jump there. Okay, first run completed Complete. from our women's field. We were scheduled to have four women. Unfortunately, Astrid Chelos had to pull out at the yeah. last minute. We've got three great riders here. We've got the countdown, three, two, one, and Martin is on course. Let's see what the young gun has for us. Cruising into the top takeoff with the nose butter. Oh! Just over rotating a little bit there. You could see how he opened up and tried to slow down his rotation. Just lost his ski. And okay, we've got Sebi on course. What does he have for us? Enjoying some of that fresh Valaisan powder as he cruises into the first kicker. Laying out the backflip mute. That was a boost. Little side hit here. Stomp as he comes into the middle kicker. Cork 720, squeaking in the tail grab, stomped clean. He's fired up. Oh, uh, Mary! Double. Huge double flat spin, sending it to the moon, and he's hitting the he's hitting, hitting the, the rail. rail. First rider to hit the rail. Yes, Sebi, you are stoked. Corking out the little 540, hitting perfect transition. Wow. Wow, that was a good one. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Now we are in the game. All right. Up in his rookie year. That's not something you see every day. This is a guy who's got an insane amount of natural talent. He also yeah. completes on, I believe, the Kite Surf the World kite Tour. Surf world Tour, yeah. He hoped to be a kite, uh, mm -hmm. world champion in Kite Surf too. This guy, he actually yeah. considers himself a kite surfer first, a skier second, but it looks like he's got no problem 
linking up a cork seven into a nice natural hit 360. And the double back. Oh, the <laughs> double backflip, four point landing. Okay. Oh, I knew that he wanted to send that trick. That is the double cork 1080. This is something he's been talking and thinking about doing in a free ride contest in a while. Unfortunately, just got a little bit off axis there in the landing. He's sliding the rail too, clean to the end. Launching a little flare there out of the final takeoff. Wow, great run, big run from Maxime. Unfortunately, he bombed hole there a little bit on the cork 10, so maybe it's not gonna be the highest score, but still he huge it. level of yeah. tricks. That's a famous rookie there, Alex Williams. Alex, very well known in Verbier, representing Verbier on the other side of the mountain here. Okay, he is going for the nose butter cork seven, and he is stomping it, finishing what Martin Bender started now. That was a very clean start for him. Let's see what else he's got for us. Taking a little side angle on the kicker there, landing a clean backflip stop trick, and opening up a new kicker now. We haven't seen this yet with the cork seven clean stomp. Okay, we've got a solid run from Alex Williams. I hadn't heard of Alex before. I've heard of him now. Alex is in the house. He's just taken the final jump straight over the top, not aiming for the hip into the wind lip there, but just going straight over the top. Okay, that was quite the run from Alex. Let's recap. Like You never know what Emil is going to bring. So I'm we super excited. <laughs> I'm excited to see this run right now. Emil Grandbaum on course. The child. Dropping out of sight here. Okay. Heading to the kicker far left. Floating a big 360. The landing on that is a little flat. And we can see he just kind of bomb hold there. Um, I think that's a tough one to stomp to your feet. Floating a big flat spin, Japan, nice and clean. Always a stylish trick, love to see that one. And another nose butter seven, stomps super clean. Squeaking in around the rocks there. Oh yeah, he's setting the line to get over to the rail. No stranger to the rail oh, slides. Yeah. <laughs> Popping a little flip out of the rail, first trick out of the rail that we've seen. And yeah. yes, that was so sick. That's totally funny. He, he literally play with the with the with the features. It's amazing. That's what we're talking about. You don't know what the wild child is gonna bring. He just backflipped that quarter pipe, stalled at the top, and then just rode away like it was nothing. Okay, Emil. All right, you've got our attention. Um. Be careful of this guy. Let's go with Marcus. Watch out for Marcus. He won this competition last year, and he is on course. Cruising in at the top, scoping his line, popping to switch, and floating the switch right 540, over-rotating it a little bit, and taking a crash. He's just going to take his time, collect his wits, looking up at his hit, Maybe contemplating what went wrong there. Okay, launching a nice side hit backflip there. Straight into a oh, huge in double flat spin. <laughs> okay. okay, Marcus isn't shaken. Straight into the dub 10. Okay, and that was the full on body press into the landing there. Marcus is trying to link up the dubs. Marcus has no chill. Floating the big front 450 and <laughs> laying out Top the backflip. <laughs> yeah, he needs to work on finding the transition there, but that's okay. There's so much powder. Yes, yeah, we can see with this kind of snow, you can be a bit more like, yeah, go for it and try things that normally we, without this kind of snow, you cannot. I have seen some clips of him doing huge double flat spins, I believe filming for Matchstick Productions. Let's see, okay. maybe all or nothing. <laughs> Let's see what he's got for us. He won two times a uh, free run world tour um, uh, play, um, competition, so mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, opening it up with the switch 540 off the top, stomping it. Oh, <laughs> what? Very long one. Oh my goodness. 
That was a massive natural 360 going huge straight into kind of a double backflip, double whack flip. Cork seven, squeaking in a little tail grab there. Maybe it was a blunt. We'll have to see the replay. Big run for Craig right now as he comes into the cat track, gaining some speed for the bottom jump, hopping to switch with the switch 900, stomping it clean. Little switch, bio-ish nine. Oh, that is a big, big run that we just saw from Craig Murray. I'm gonna need to see the replay on that natural hit 360. Alex is a freestyler at heart. He comes from the US East Coast, which uh, is the birthplace of a lot of really good skiers. Interesting background, done a lot of street skiing, X Games real ski, put together great segments. Now let's see what he's got for us in the BC. Nice little hand jag 360, corking it out, stomping it clean. We've seen some other riders having a little bit of trouble off the top. Natural hit backflip. Yeah, Hackle, let's go. Cork 720 to the left. He might have squeaked in the little Japan grab there. I'm not sure. Cruising into the next kicker. Spinning to the right. Oh, and just getting hung up a little bit on the takeoff. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, Alex just spun in both directions. He spun one trick to the left side, then he came down and he did the next trick to the right side, and now he is he doing an exactly key. one and a half flat spins and uh, just bomb holing right there into the landing. Looks like he could have used a little more speed. He's all good, he's getting back up, he's putting his skis back on. But so what Alex showed us there was spins in both directions. If you're standing at home right now, you can jump, spin in a circle, try doing it one direction, then try doing it the other direction. We call that the unnatural. You and will probably now he's again here for the BC, the rider of Chamonix. Leo Slemet, very talented rider, won the Freeride World Tour back in 2017. As you said, he's from Chamonix, which is basically all you need to know. If a skier is from Chamonix, they're going to be very talented. As we can see in that flat spin 360 Japan there. Natural hit, popping the 360 off. That hit's been very popular today. And we got a little kind of bio-ish 720 there, stomping it clean. A little bit of a different rotation than we've seen yet. Laying out the double backflip. Too much rotation on this one. Yeah, a little bit too much hot sauce on that enchilada. Sliding the rail to the end. I think it's probably not every day that Leo Slemet hits a rail. So that's interesting to see that he's got a little park game there too. Maybe he has a um, bit more free ride background. Mm -hmm. But here we can see freestyle too. <laughs> yep, and he ends it there with a little 540. Leo is a true free ride legend. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday morning he said, I'm in. Timo was one of the last ones to get the call here, coming over from Austria, a member of the Freeride Club in Actually, Arlberg. He, he is not from Canada because we saw the Canada flag. I think he's from Germany, no? He uh, is uh, a, a mixed <laughs> nationality, like uh, a lot of the riders both. here. His dad is from Germany, his mom is French Canadian, oh, and he right. lives in Austria. Okay. So it's sometimes hard to keep track of. I heard him speaking perfect Quebecois French last night. Yes, yes. But we're missing his run here. He's stomping flat spins left and right, stomping a cork seven. Okay, now I know why Timo was invited. Here's the double backflip. He's got it. He's celebrating already. We call that a four point landing. Such a clean stomp. Okay, Timo's making a statement right now. Ooh, cork three, finding some kind of transition there where there shouldn't be a transition. Okay, I want to see the top of Timo's run again. Because Better. Mm -hmm, exactly. We don't say Lake Geneva, we say Lac Léman. Sampo grew up, I was at his house a couple years ago. He's got a beautiful view of the lake, representing Simply, which is a ski company right here from the valley.
And he does. He he did. He don't compete on uh, free ride world tour events, etc. He prefers this kind of events, old school events. Yes. Big switch cork 540 stomping it clean into a massive straight air. Oh, that was some style right there. You don't need to spin to have a sick trick. Oh, Sample just coming up a little bit short on his cork seven, and uh, just taking a little tumble. Oh, here we go. Sampo's coming out the bottom now. Laying out a big backflip for the crowd. Okay, Sampo's coming out the bottom now. Floating into a nice 180. All right, one of the first switch landings that we've seen today. That is no easy feat. If exactly. We saw a nice run from Lou off the beginning. She get, showed us a couple 360s, showed us that she is comfortable spinning off of these jumps, landing into the powder. Maybe she's going to try to take a little bit more speed on this run. Yep, with the clean 360 there. You can see the venue starting to get a little bit tracked out here. It's going to get a little more chundery as the day goes on. It's coming into the next jump, 360, getting the tail grab, showing us that she's got that style. We always like to see a grab there. Next jump, there's that flat spin again. Her favorite trick, nailing it three, flat spin three, adding the Japan grab. Super clean from Lou. Yeah. She heads for the quarter at the end. Coming into the quarter there and just popping a little air to close it off. All right, three stomp tricks from Lou. Pretty similar, I believe, to her first run, but Country Invitational. Uh, I know everyone is super yes. stoked to have her yes, here. That's yep. true. She was here for sure for the Four Stars, the Challenger, uh, this kind of free ride competition, but not for the backcountry. Mm -hmm. Ari is a skier who just loves skiing. You see it in every movement that she does. Boosting a big 360 cleanly into the transition there. Popping a nice little air there on her way down the middle section. Another big 360 to the left. I think both of them were to the left. The backflip stomped clean. She's stoked. You can see it. Ari is a woman, she just absolutely loves skiing. Popping a little air at the bottom. And a little side air there to close it out as she comes into the finish. She is quite strong on, he, on her legs, you know. We, we can see that she has, a, she has a very good technique on ski. Absolutely. Ari is such a good skier. Second run, she's going to step things up a little bit. She, she also, uh, she hides also in Les Ains. Uh, it's what I, I heard yesterday, so yeah, she's also from Les Ains. Yep, she's riding in Les Ains a lot probably down the valley from here. She's probably got some park chops, as we can see, with that clean 360. Heading over to the kicker on the right side. Oh. Big 360 just can't hang on to the landing there, taking a tumble. But it was a high one, no? It was quite high. That was a big three, yeah. She yeah. almost had it too, but just uh, unable to hang on to the, uh, the landing there. So we've got Jenica coming out the bottom now here. Boosting a little straight air there as she comes through the finish gate on her run to editors, how they're able to navigate their way through a face where they don't always see where they're going. They have to really study these faces. Thankfully, this one here. Okay, a clean 360 from Martin. We can see maybe stepping back. Oh, Whoa. did I say stepping back? I take it back because that Small was seat, the biggest perfect. 720 of the competition we have seen yet. Holy moly, Martin. 
I'm going to need the replay on that. I'm going to need the replay on that double backflip, too, because that was clean as all get out. Taking a little angle, you can see, to find the good snow on the left side. Very good line choice from Martin. And just going straight over the top with a 360. He's claiming it. He's feeling good. That is definitely redemption after his first run. Yeah, that's our window. Ciao. Cuckoo. Hello. <laughs> I want to come out and enjoy the sunshine. Unfortunately, you can see me here in this comfortable North Face tent. <laughs> I feel like I'm on an expedition. I could be out on a glacier in yeah, uh, Canada right now. But no, I am in Nanda. Let's go for Sebi. And Sebi Mal is dropping into the course right now. What's Sebi got for us off the first jump? Huge cork seven, floating it out. Maybe even looking for the double grab there. Popping the little natural side air there. Carve 360. Love that style on that 360 there. This is the double flat spin seven. Stomped like a boss. Yes, Sebi, that was sick. Hitting the rail. Backside 270. Oh, no. Okay, getting a little bit stuck off the landing of the rail there, unfortunately. Oh, that's kind of a bummer there for Sebi because uh, that was just a little back 270 out of the rail. Should have been casual. It looks like he just got hung up a little bit on the landing. Do a dub cork 10. Let's see you get it, Maxime. The landings are a little bit choppy right now. Let's see if he finds a good spot to put her down. There's that cork seven, stomping it into the chunder, popping the 360, great combo. And the double double backflip stomped like it's nothing. Maxime stacking the tricks. Here it is, the dub 10. Come on, Maxime, stomp it, no! Oh, so close. Oh. He can send it, for oh, sure. Fun fact about Alex Williams, he loves gorillas. <laughs> That's a fun fact. <laughs> okay, gorilla lover Alex Williams on the drop-in now. Watch out, what's he got for us? Yes! Winding up the 720, getting a little bit stuck on that landing. As we've seen, those top hits. Whoa! Backflip, baby! We can see him, the landing was so... Yeah, we can see now that there are quite a few bomb holes out there in the course, and Alex just getting hung up there, sending the huge backflip, but landing right in someone else's spot. He's heading over to the kid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, big 360, no chill for Alex. There's still a lot of real estate to be had over there on that right side kicker. Still a lot of fresh snow. Whoa, there's the dub 10. Yeah, just a back. Okay. Back slap on this. But yeah. Not yet. Back slapping it's still the first still rider the to ride away from the dub 10. So he can claim that. Wasn't the cleanest. He's hard once in that first trick if it doesn't go well. Yeah. Emil Grambom on course. Let's go, Emil. Heading over to the left side. I think he wants some redemption off of that hit. Okay, floating the clean backflip, stomping it, finding some fresh real estate going far, far to the left side, getting a cliff drop. No one else has hit yet. That's a clean line. Double backflip. Oh, and just Not trying enough. to squeaking it around. Not enough speed until he got stuck on that dub. Let's see if he goes for redemption on that, or maybe he wants to put down something different. We'll see. Marcus, also very competitive, also very tactical. Won this event last year. I'm sure that he would love to win it again. As he comes in for the first hit. Okay, huge rodeo 720. Beautiful trick there. New trick choice for Marcus. Okay, the dub 10. He's got it. Okay, trying it on a new jump now. Found some new real estate. Stomps it. The cork 900 to the switch landing. This is so difficult, people. I can't tell you how hard that was. Hits the rail. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Corking out the back 630 off of the rail. 
big flare. Oh, oh no! Oh, the last just, one. Just getting a little bit, uh, missing the transition but on the final hit. Yeah, but that was such a big run. Yes. I think we would we'll just ignore that. We pretend that didn't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Craig Murray is on course for his second run at the Nanda Backcountry Invitational. Popping to switch, switch 540, stomping it so clean. Huge cork seven, stomping that clean. Oh my God. Giant flat spin 360. Okay, Craig, uh, Craig was not uh, gonna chill on his first run. Another cork seven landing that clean. Craig is on his way to having two amazing runs. Let's see what he's got for us at the bottom. Popping the switch. Tossing that switch bio nine again, safety grab. Wow. What a run again. What a run again. He might have just managed even to up the ante after his first run. There's a lot of talented skier. Alex is an interesting uh, Actually, individual. His favorite place to skiing is in Sweden, Riksgrenzen. Mm -hmm. So also, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Let's go. He uh, actually moved to Sweden. Beautiful hand drag 720 there, showing his uh, progression style. Backflip, landing that clean. Cork 7 Japan, he's got that on lock. Super stylish, nice trick. Love to see that from Alex. Okay, there's the right side Cork 7. He got hung up on that on his first run. Now he's got the left and right 7s clean. He's coming into the final hit. This is going to be Alex's first run, full run. Keeping it simple with the flat spin 360 Japan. Alex has got to run. He's stoked as he comes into the finish line. Nice. Clean. Legend of free riding from France, Chamonix rider. Yeah, friends here in Nanda, definitely Leo is one of our friends. Okay, Leo sending. Thank you. Me there. Um, cool looking trick, but uh, just getting stuck on the landing. He's still going. He hasn't stopped. There's that bio 720. I think that's one of his go-to tricks because he's stomping that easily. Yeah. Double backflip into the chunder, but still stomping it. This man does his squats. Again, the rain. Leo Slemet does slide rails. Everybody should know. Whoa! And boosting that nice little five on the side hit. He's good also in back like this, this, this double back. He's always very strong. Three. They have a stop if he had World Tour qualifier as well. Mm -hmm. okay. One of Austria's most well-known uh, powder holes, St. Anton. Thanks to North Face. <laughs> Shout out North Face. That was a, a North Face 360 there from from Timo. Yeah. Well, uh, now we I'm lost, just think, we, we lost the oh. feed from. Uh, he's here. From Timo, we're back. Okay, he's just floating uh, a little clean backflip there, so we missed something. Oh, Timo! Huge double. <laughs> Huge double over rotating it he might have had the triple in there just bomb holing he looked like he was jumping off the high dive at the pool just going for the biggest cannonball and just chucking a 720 if emil's ski had still been in the landing he might have landed on it thankfully that ski is no longer there but when we come back in uh very international with their uh, their pedigree I think people come here because they love the Alps and skiing, and they do kids, children here. Absolutely. <laughs> and they, they grew up here. <laughs> come down to the Alps, have a good time, spend a couple seasons, maybe meet a wonderful young Swiss or German or Austrian woman. I have some experience in this field myself. <laughs> Sampo floating the nice 360 here, taking a nice side hit, always looking for the new line. I love that about Sampo. 
Oh, such a beautiful Cork 720. Did you see the style in that? Yeah. Unfortunately, just not hanging on to and the landing. Land and switch and switch too. Yeah, mm -hmm. landing and switch and just uh, not being able to ride out and just popping the double just for the heck of it. Sample's not stopping. Uh, my screen's frozen. I'm not sure if yours is, but we're looking now. Sample's coming into the bottom. Sending a huge 180, and uh, yeah, that landing switch and powder, that's, um, that's just tricky sometimes. But um, okay. Sampo, a couple hits, a couple misses. That cork seven, that cork nine, excuse me, was a thing of beauty. Such a nice rotation. Poked out his hand, got the grab, but, uh, and she's already dropping in. So let's go. Run three, third and final run for the ladies here in Nanda. The one what does to Lou send. have? I think that's Lou. That's what she said last yes, run, right? She said, she said she's going to send it. 360 tail grab. Super clean from Lou. Cruising down through the chute there. To manage this snow now. Mm -hmm. Definitely ch more chundery mm -hmm. now. 720, nice tail one. grab, stomps it clean. Wow, the biggest trick we've seen from Lou so far. Hold it together, girl. Let's see you get to the bottom with a clean run. Flat spin 360, Japan. Stomped, yes, go Good. Lou. Big run, she's got one more hit. On the Loving quarter. this run so far. Quarter pipe, little side hit, just Jeez. poking those skis out. Go Keep serve. it clean, get through that finish gate, Lou. Yes. That Who came last year here in the four star event. It was really interesting to see this. Mm -hmm. Leia has done really well here in the past. I think she won last year, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And uh, it's too bad she's not here this year. But now Ari's on course. Let's go. What has she got for us? Taking a big drop at the top, stomping it clean. She's getting back out onto that ridge. Oh, going into an open zone. Good pick, nice. Ari. Look at the snow. Look at that untouched line. That was a great line choice. Backflip, a little bit off axis, stomping that super clean. I love Ari's sort of like wild eagle style that she's got sometimes with her arms out there. Popping that 360 that she can always land. So sick, Ari. <laughs> she's so happy, we can't say it. <laughs> she is really stoked she is right now. She's cruising like this. Yeah. She just looks like she's having so much fun every, every time that she skis. I love to watch this girl ski. Pop in the clean air. Another clean run from Ari. I think that's three for three for her, if I remember. Wow. Ah, that's interesting. Cut with this. It yeah. looks like they're, they're taking the other runs into consideration as well. So Ari is back on top. And Jenica, Jenica Folkeson coming in. Jenica, come and tell me later if I'm saying your name right is doing a 360, stomping it clean, little bunny hop out, showing she's having fun on this course too. Looking for, she wanted the 720 and uh, just got a little bit lost in the air. It was a nice that, move. That, that's better, right? You know, me coming from not the super free ride background, I had to learn that a lot of people for safety reasons, yeah, safety. don't put yes. their pull straps on. Can you yes. tell me more about that? Yeah, it's about if there is an avalanche or something like that, the poles can can pull you more in the avalanche. It's better to throw it away. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, because if the snow takes your poles inside, it's really hard then to move and to, to change it. Mm -hmm. Also, Miss Fulkerson so right here showing us good uh, avalanche safety techniques here as she tossed the 360 up high. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we're jumping straight into it as Martin Bander is coming in to his third and final run right now. Get ready for it. Big 360, almost punch fronting on the landing but holding on to it, a little side hit. We're back for the third round. The Cork 10. Yeah. Holy shit. That was sick. We got to see the replay of that. Okay, jump to switch. Martin is not holding anything Smooth. back. Whoa. Switch 540. Okay, we're going to need to see this whole run on replay, I think, because we just came back from a break straight into Martin. 
doing a, I don't oh, even. Yeah, he stand up. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. I don't, that was that was something. That might have been an attempt at a double cork. Uh, we're gonna have to see. But Martin just put it all out on the line. Who are tuning in? Although I bet most of Sebi's friends are probably out skiing right now. They're gonna see this on the replay later. But Sebi's been showing us some great runs too. Let's see what he's got for us. This view is nice. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. Here. okay. Sebi was looking for the nice right side 360, carving off that top hit. He was trying to tranny hunt. What you need to do to get a good score. So if he knows that the dub 10 isn't working. Maybe he's going to try to something new. Yeah. This is a guy he spends, he's competing every other day. He goes to the Kiteboard World Tour, competes on that in the summer, and then comes back, competes on the Free Ride World Tour in the winter. There are few people on this planet who compete as much as Maxime Chablot does. So he's got that cork seven. Not sure if he got the tail grab, but still a clean rotation. 360 off the natural hit, so he's showing us the same run he's been doing yeah, that's the same. all day. There's Let's the backflip. So clean. This is it. Will he do the dub 10 or will he dial it back a bit? Okay. No. Okay, he's going safe. He's going for the 360. He opted. He said, I want to get a score. He's going to hit the rail now because he's finally got enough speed to do it. Back 270 out. Coming into this side shark fin yeah. hit. <laughs> Launching a flare and That's just holding on to it. That's right. a clean run. That's what Maxime wanted. One of the one of the pack of young guns out here, up and coming, hungry riders, ready to show us, put a stamp on this course, make us remember his name yeah. with tricks like a nose butter 720 stomped clean into tracks like it's nothing. Floating a backflip on that cross court hit, bouncing off one end run, going into the other. Okay, just taking a straight air there. He got a little bit loose on yeah, his in run. Oh, big 720. He rode out of it. That that is kind of just like a step down. The the landing just drops away, and these guys are just going stratospheric. 360 to close it out. Okay, 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 Alex. Yeah, we see you. The kids see you. They you want a high here. five. They might want your autograph later. That's such a validation for your whole team here and what you guys yeah, are doing definitely. that Marcus wants to be a part of it. So, it so, looks like so. Yeah, he's doing a couple he's, worm turns over on the left. Yeah. He's got a super smooth nose butter seven. Might be the, the fan favorite trick of the day. Backflip Japan, carving back the dub 12. Oh, oh Marcus! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was, people, people wanted to see that trick today. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the double cork 1260 mute. A trick that I just saw in a slope style contest at Lox two days ago. Cork seven, he fell down, he's still finishing his run. So he did a mute, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that was the mute grab in there. Okay, that was, uh, sorry, I wasn't <laughs> paying attention. That might have been a back 810 out of the rail. Mark. Yeah, boys. Yeah. So Craig is dropping in. Maxime, maybe you just want to guest commentate uh, Craig's run for us right now. For sure, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. For sure, Craig is the most, or at least one of the most stylish riders and strongest riders out there. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys can hear Maxime right now. He was just commenting Craig's run. Um, we just saw him go huge there, take a slam. Let's do a mic check real quick. Let's uh, talk again. Um, can you hear me now? <laughs> okay, yeah, we can hear you now. Just speak up a little bit, Maxime. Okay. Did I miss that? What did he just do? I also didn't see it. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Hulk E L, not H A C K L E. Sorry about that, Alex. 
Um, and Alex is on course. Super creative rider. American turns Swedish with the hand drag 720 and uh, taking a tumble on the landing. He stomped that in his last run. You don't get them all. He's all good, though. Loved his last run, so hopefully he can um, do another good one. Mm -hmm. It's so cool to see such a mix of, of riders here at this event, from yeah. free ride legends to up and comers. Oh, not quite. Yeah, he's, it's just like off X is coming around to land that roadie sieve. Mm -hmm. So cool to see. It looks like he just kind of body checked it there, lost a ski. So, yeah. Do you guys have live streams for the, the free ride events? Yeah. Not anymore here? because we choose to have the, the live stream on the BC now ah. to see. Yeah, so. Okay, we've got Timo on course now, second to last rider. Young Gun from the Arlberg. Big 360, finding some fresh snow. Hard to do at this time of the day. That was sick. Oh, big sort of backflip, flat spin. I mean, he might have wanted the double there, but he held it to one. Oh, baby! Guys, it's not finished. <laughs> Definitely. Whoa. Okay. That was a double, ladies and gentlemen. Finishing it off with the cork 720 and potentially the ah. biggest double backflip of the day. I cannot believe you have to be 18 years old to land that, right? Simply Ski Company, which he started with his friend Laurent de Martin, I think just two oh, years yeah, ago. It was also here. Yeah. Laurent skied here several times as well. They're building skis in Switzerland and they're sending hand drag cork threes in Switzerland. Maybe getting a little stuck, but that's okay. He's still cruising down, looking to make it to the bottom in one piece. Oh, there's that, that whale tail dolphin 720. Super unique style. Switch. Pop to switch. The switch nine, huge cheer from the crowd here at the bottom. Everybody else love that. Oh. Yeah, we have a lot of people now in the public zone. It's really nice. Yeah, one of the most stylish tricks of the day. Whoa. The 180. Oh, yeah. just wheeling out a little bit. Okay. 180 to late face press. He just enjoy. <laughs> He's just enjoying. Let's get him through the finish gate as three, two, one. That is a Some wrap fangs. of an incredible contest. Wow, wow. and Sampo Valaton closing it out with maybe the best Switch 900 that we have seen and in this the contest. And we saw so many nice things. Exactly. That was the last gift for, for everybody here. Nice. He was holding out. He was waiting for that. I have a feeling maybe he wanted to do the Cork 9, land Switch, and do the oh. Switch 9. He didn't quite get that, but that's okay. He landed the 7, popped a Switch, and did a sick... Sick, nice. Switch 900. Um, 